Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for Multi-Photo Monday and it's a layout using two or more photos. And this is the mood board that inspired this layout and the layouts of other fellow ladies. So check out the description box below to see the next person that you want to visit today to see what she made. And be sure to go all the way around until you come back to my video so that you don't miss out on all the awesome inspiration that we have for you today. So today's layout, if you look back or if you paused the video, um, the mood board had pinks. It had that airy feeling um, that goes with, you know, um, weddings. It says you are beautiful and it as soon as I saw it it was um, Miranda who um, shared it with us as soon as I saw it I was like boom I am going to make a wedding layout and it's perfect because even though I do have a mini album with my wedding pictures and I do have a couple of layouts um, documenting my wedding I haven't per se documented this moment within my wedding pictures and it's when we were doing our sort of like photo session the photographer um, took pictures of my husband and I of course you know the regular you know typical wedding pictures but he also made us pose alone and he got close-ups of us like here you can see five different pictures um he took a close-up of my hair my hairpin my flowers and um basically my dress but the way that i designed this layout i know it like if i had included because my go-to idea was i'm gonna document all those pictures and they were like six or seven pictures but if I had done that, like documented six or seven pictures, it they would have been on the smaller side. So I went more with five pictures and they measure three by four, three and a half by three and a half and two and a half by two and a half. So I have two that are, are, are the smallest, two medium sized ones and the one where you can see me completely that's um, three by four and for some reason whenever I think of wedding pictures I think of wood grain patterned paper so my base is going to be wood grain um, the wood grain pattern paper that you just saw and I'm going to be adding some mixed media on it everything that you see like everything that you will see in the layout is basically taken off the mood board I'm going to use gold I'm going to use lots of pinks. Um, so, yeah. And that circular cut file that you see there, that's a cut file by Virginia Walker. It's called Messy Circles. And I'll link you to it down below if you're interested in it. What I'm doing right now is I'm using some shimmers to paint, to like color, to doilies. And then I get to adding patterned paper to um to my gosh I forgot the word <laughs> to my pictures I am such a scatterbrain today I'm trying to do this voiceover but for some reason my mind is stuck on Spanish mode um yeah very much like Buzz Lightyear <laughs> anyways um I hope you can bear with me. So anyways, um, so what I'm trying to do with my layers is I'm not, I don't want the same layers beneath my pictures. I want my main picture, which is the biggest one, the three by four, is going to have a lot more layers than the other four smaller ones. Um, they will, like, some... I hope you can you can understand once you get once you can see it um, some of them are gonna start out with like a plain pink background others are gonna start with a patterned paper background not background but P 
piece of patterned paper. Others are going to start with a black. So I'm trying to create that difference among the patterned paper. Well, the, pa the patterned paper clusters beneath my pictures. And the pattern papers that I'm using are from Maggie Holmes' um, carousel collection. I know it's old. Um, if I recall correctly, maybe three years ago, maybe. Um, and the reason I'm, that I'm using it is because I am very much committed. I'm almost halfway through February and I'm committed to not buying anything until uh, at least June. So that means that everything that I'm going to be creating f like since the beginning of January all the way to June is from my stash. Um, and when I saw that, uh, when I saw that collection, I was like, you immediately think of maybe like a theme park, um, maybe like an outing to the park or maybe even going to a carnival or something. But I don't have pictures of that theme yet. So I'm trying to use it in a creative way. Um, so, but I did notice that looking through the collection, there's a lot of pinks, there's a lot of blacks and whites, um, well, black and white. Um, so it's perfect. So I just chose papers that were white, pink, or black, or a combination of, of those. And I'm going to also be adding some pops of gold because, you know, weddings, gold, it's perfect. <laughs> and it's weird because when um, in my wedding, there's nothing gold. There's not, it, it, I chose, you know, the metallic color that I chose is silver. Um, but for some reason, when I'm documenting the pictures from my wedding that don't have any gold in them, I choose gold to document them. Go figure. So anyways, back here. Now, um, if you noticed, I haven't brought in my background because I added some Vicky Booten rose gold glaze to the center using a heart stencil. And right now I'm just working on my paper layers. I'm going to fussy cut these flowers. Those are from also from Carousel. I was actually surprised that they had, that that collection had that sort of flower. So I'm gonna fussy cut them out in between the layers of my biggest photo. So my the one that's on the right hand side, um, that measures three by four. So in between the layers, I'm also gonna sort of sandwich in some doilies and also the flowers. Now I'm looking through the embellishments from the same collection, from the carousel collection, to see what I can add to the layout from that um, collection. I do bring some other things from my stash, but um, it's mostly carousel except for the background. The background, I believe, is from Simple Stories. So, my background is not completely dry yet, but I am... Sometimes I'm very impatient when I'm crafting. So, I was like, okay, this is dry enough for me to use. So, I bring the background in. I glue the cut file onto the background and I love that effect that the hearts are only on the inside and if you noticed I sort of marked where my pictures are going to be because I'm going to create another layer of mixed media I'm just using some plain old modeling paste and this Paige Evans heart stencil well yeah heart stencil um, to create another layer, another texture, another, you know, lovey-doveyness to, <laughs> to the layout. And then since modeling paste 
takes a bit it takes a while to dry I go ahead and start working on fussy cutting out the flowers I took a break came back and now I have like everything's ready for me to start um, like finishing up so I grab some craft foam and I add it to that big picture with its patterned paper I've added that pink doily which I've colored with some shimmers cotton candy and also a goil a goil <laughs> a gold foil doily I've added a piece of ephemera beneath it so I also have that glittery gold beneath it and then I start to move on to the next picture the way that I sort of worked my layout is that I started on the right hand side and then worked my way to the left hand side trying to leave enough space between the pictures so that when I added any other sort of embellishment it wasn't too crazy and it didn't crowd over to the next picture all five of my pictures are layered onto some craft foam for ac so for some extra dimension and the flowers have some of their tips also popped up on craft foam and then I saw these two pieces of ephemera and I was like hmm these go perfect here so I placed them there but then I also wanted to include beautiful because when I saw the mood board it says you are beautiful so I was like I know when you see a, mu a mood board you don't have to include everything you see there but I wanted to so I use these gold glittery thickers I believe those are from one of the Amy Tangerine collections and my title is going to be so sweet and beautiful and the and word is from a set of thickers by hip kid club but i think that was like wow nearly a year ago that they um ha sent those out in their kits and the so sweet is also from carousel the title the so sweet part of the title is also popped up on some craft foam and i've added a flower ephemera between because it had like a, an awkward space awkward empty space next to so and above sweet so I added that flower to you know you know to, just to like close things in and this is one of those layouts I think all my layouts are like that that the more I look at it the more I even fall in love with it because I don't know what it what it is it's just I love it I love it I'm making sure that everything's stuck down and I'm looking at it I'm trying to like see trying to see what else I can add and the foam thickers from Amy Tan Tangerine had some glittery stuff so some of them are leaves others it's like that huge gold heart is from well actually no that's from um, the carousel collection but there are other tiny glittery hearts that I've added next to some of the pictures that were from um, that same set of thickers by Amy Tangerine now I'm adding some Nouveau drops in carnation pink, ice diamond, and gold. I forget that other name, but it's gold. Um, and then finally, I grab shimmers in minor minor 49er, and I just splatter it near the clusters. And then for the journaling, 
oh, I forgot. I also added, this is Bubblegum Blast. And it's the same pink that you see in So Sweet. I thought about adding sequins, but they weren't the same I mean, I had pink, pink sequins there, but I, they weren't the same pink that I had going over, like going on in my layout. So I just went for some big rhinestones that I just sort of tucked here and there for a little bit of sparkliness. And here is the finished layout. I added my journaling all around the border of the cut file. And here you have some close-ups. I loved how this turned out. Remember, check out the other ladies that are sharing layouts inspired by that same mood board. And hopefully, I'll see you again. If you go all through the other ladies, I'll see you back soon in this same video or in another video. Take care, guys. Bye.